Welcome back to our adventures in Baja. And if you're joining us for the first time, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Here's a recap of our last video. We had a nice relaxing day at Santa Rita Hot Springs and Sol de Mayo Waterfall. We enjoyed the pure natural waters of the ecological preserves and made memories we won't soon forget. In this video, we meet up with our American cousins and take a boat tour to explore Cabo San Lucas's famous arch and the local wildlife. We also enjoy San Jose del Cabo's art walk as a final goodbye to this beautiful Baja paradise. So the campground is actually really, really good. A uh, really cool spot to be at. Well, first of all, there's no one here besides us. Second of all, got Wi-Fi, which is pretty good from inside the casita. Pool is closed. Again, they're selling, they're trying to sell the campgrounds. They also had a bar over there slash restaurant with liquor license. The other thing is, it's the only campground here in Cabo. You don't find many campgrounds over here. And they could actually accommodate big rigs. See, I mean, we're small, but tons of room in there. Could easily fit a uh, Class A in these spots. Within five minutes distance, we have Walmart and we also have Costco. So really, really close by. And walking distance, you could walk to the marina. I'd say it's about a three kilometer walk to the marina. And you could also walk to the beach, to the main beach. In order for you to get beach access, you need to go through a resort. But there is a public beach over there that anybody could go through it. And I think 10, 15 minutes of walking, we're there. You could also bring your car, I believe it's 40 pesos to park there. But, you know, it's an easy walk anyway. And you could walk all around the beach, to the marina, from the marina, back to the campground. And it's a good six, seven kilometer walk. And then you pretty much get to see the entire Cabo, at least the touristy spots. Main entrance. It's a little hard to see when you're coming off from the highway, but yeah, I think this is the main highway that takes you to um, San Jose del Cabo. So if you're coming from San Jose del Cabo, you'll be on the other side and you gotta do a U-turn somewhere down there. So this is your exits when you're coming out from the highway. And Walmart is right over there. That's the Transport Colectivo. So you just stop on the side of the roads. Every time you see them, you wave them down. For a small fee, you get to travel like the locals, much cheaper. So I'm probably five minutes in, and this is a uh, dry riverbed could actually already see a cruise ship normally i've been seeing two cruise ships one docks over there one a little bit further out and uh, so that is access to the public beach this is the entrance so you just pay to park or you walk through so they have a lot of activities here. They have the skydiving, they have parasailing. Uh, you could also rent sea dues. There's tons of boats. You could do um, a boat ride 
and uh, they'll take you to the arch. So this is the beach. As you can see, it's a pretty big beach, very long. So you could walk this way where it doesn't really bring you anywhere besides resorts. And if you walk this way, you're gonna be going towards the marina. So this is the marina and uh, you will find tons of boats where you could do your cruises from the marina and you also you have on the beach sides. So, again it goes from $15 to $20 for an hour ride. There's even two beaches over there. I think they're called Divorce Beach and Lover's Beach. They drop you there for a bit so you could stay, I don't know for an hour then they go pick you up hey guys so we're at the marina today and uh, we're actually gonna be doing a boat tour so we're gonna go see the lovers beach divorce beach the arch and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get some nice drone footage all my crew is behind us we're gonna be seven people
bad guys scaring a lot of sweetness. So this is the marina. I'm also pretty sure if you're into fishing, you could hire one of these guys to take you fishing. On the other side of the marina, they have all the stands where you could walk and get tons of information, right? And again, prices will vary, just negotiate. This is the main street, so the same street where the uh, campground is. So you have a bunch of restaurants and stores on that side. And we're all the way towards the end over there. The thing is when it comes to campgrounds, you're very li limited in Cabo. The closest one there is, I believe it's in Todos Santos and it's about an hour drive. Hey guys, so it is about 6.15 in the afternoon and we're exploring San Jose del Cabo. Cute little town and uh, yeah. It's about half an hour from Cabo San Lucas and we caught a little traffic on our way in. So I think this street is all local Art. artists. Yeah. Galleries, souvenirs. Yeah, it's really nice though. Tons of tequilas. Free tasting. Free tasting. As long as you buy. No, no, no. As long as you enjoy. Free tasting as long as you enjoy. And honestly, these guys know their stuff. Where do you want? You travel so many months. I'm very fine. Then you need to do everything. So they wash the barrel with port wine. Yes, sir. It's an extra age tequila. So extra okay guys this is my number one let's get the name of it there legacia legacia my tequila number two woman. was chula paranda añejo my number three is passion azul and then my number four was where yeah. <laughs> and then this one select was number four barrica selecta so now we're it's trying the homemade owners. The so owner this is not for sale. No. We could always work something out. <laughs> <laughs> we will call them. We'll call them over. No, it ain't for sale. I'm just playing. It's a, it is a special blend. Can you taste the porto? I can taste the barrel. I really do enjoy San Jose del Cabo. It's a different vibe than Cabo, right? It is touristy, but not as much. You know, and it gives you a little bit more of the Mexican vibe, which I love. The Art Walk is every Thursday from 5 to 9. And yeah, so if you're around, definitely come to enjoy it. Art Walk 2019.